All right, hi you guys, and today we'll be talking about graphing radical functions. Okay, we'll, so we'll be spending a little bit of time in there and also show you how to solve by graphing too. Okay, so let's go to decimals. All right, so here's my graphs and everything. Let's just take a look at the square root function. Now, this is an even root function, and it will always appear even and just go up and to the right. So if I zoom out, you can see it a little bit better. Okay, and it should go over the side. And it looks like half a parabola. Okay, because if you talk about inverse, is inverse of the parabola, which is the x squared, is going to be the square root and everything. So it has it all right here. All right, now if I increase a, all right, let's take a look at the characteristics of it. If I increase a, it stretches it up, pushes it down, and then we'll flip it over the x-axis. Okay. All right, if I increase b, it'll compress it in so I'll push it in okay if I mess around with H and remember these are the B is in front of the X the H is right after it if I mess around with the H if I make it positive it moves it back if I make it negative it moves it forward okay and K once again just simple vertical translation everything to work with now the reason why the cube root can actually have some positive and the negative answers is because of the fact when you cube root a negative you're going to get a negative answer so if we plug in a number over here if we plug in negative one the answer is negative one okay if we go over here to two comma eight negative two comma eight uh, we'll get the same thing so if we plug in negative eight we'll get out of negative two okay so it just works the same way like what you would expect with odd functions and even, sorry, odd exponents and even exponents and how it works. Okay. Same thing works for stretching. Stretching, you increase A if you want to compress it. Well, this one's a little bit more difficult to work with. H is, or B is, yeah, it's like you're pushing it in. H, you move it right and left and then K you move it up and down okay something as simple as that okay now if you wanted to create if you wanted to solve by graphing this is the actually cool part okay so what you type in is you type in your function you go parentheses let's go X minus 3 okay you know what let's go press enter there we go Let's say we were trying to solve this equation. Square root of x minus 3 equals 12. Okay, if we were trying to solve this one right here. So let's move this up here. All right, so first off, you graph the actual graph right there. And then the second part is you graph y equals 12. Okay, you have y equals up here too so that you understand how it works. Okay, then you zoom out. Okay, y equals 12 is up there. So what you do is you drag your graph over until you get to it. The intersection, and voila, your answer is 147 is what x is going to be. Okay, because if you think about it, what number minus 3 and then you square root it gets you 12? That has to be 147 minus 3. Okay, so that one's as simple as that. Now, if they do not cross, then you do not have an answer for it. And so that's a huge issue that you have to contend with. Okay, so let's change up the problem to be something like, let's put a negative 5 in front. Okay, so here's our graph right here and then y equals and when you graph it so this one's going to look like this it's going to be negative 5 times the square root of x plus 2 and this one should be equal to let's say 4 Okay, so we move this down to 4. Okay, and if we zoom out a little bit. Oh, 
let's actually draw it up so it can be there. Now normally if this were to continue up and go up in this fashion it would cross somewhere up here but they don't cross. So it, as long as this is equal to 4 this is not going to happen. Now if I made this equal to negative 5 the answer would be right here but it's not. It's at 4 so what I'm doing is I'm multiplying a square root which is always has to be positive by negative and then get a positive answer there's no solution for this and so this is this is what you'll be writing well there is a solution but we're going to say no real solution okay All right now that's it for graphing and solving by graphing with radical equations I will talk to you guys later